Hello, Libra. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. I'm going to be doing a bonus reading for you today because you had the most views for the last two weeks. You had the most views for the last two weeks. This reading will not resonate with every Libra out there. But if you have Libra in your moon, Venus, or rising, this reading may be for you. Spirit, what is the past energy for the sign of Libra? What is the past energy? Okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, the Justice card. What is the current energy for the sign of the Libra? What is the current energy for the sign of Libra? What is the current energy? Thank you. We have the Five of Swords. The Herald or Hierophant, the Eight of Pentacles. <clears throat> Spirit, what is the future energy for the sign of Libra? What is the future energy for the sign of Libra? The Four of Pentacles, the Will of Fortune, the Ace of Swords, and we have the Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> begin so with the knight of pentacles you or someone had, could have been moving slowly towards some well, okay, you could have been taking your time you could have been taking your time to do something you or someone could have been taking their time moving slowly coming in slowly to do something or to say something. And this could be masculine energy because this knight is looking at this queen of wands, but she's looking away. So the knight needed to take action because the queen of wands represents action, being busy, moving, doing something. But this knight was moving in slow, taking his time. So the queen of wands, the queen looked away. But justice came in.
justice came in or justice is needed. Some type of balance could be needed in this situation. Because... With this Five of Swords, <clears throat> um, someone could have been taking their time because they were being deceitful. Because the guy holding the swords is looking back, but he he looked like he's being sneaky. So someone could have been taking their time due to um, some type of sneaky behavior or someone being deceitful and it could have been you or your partner or the other person um always remember that the energies could be it could go both ways <clears throat> because um the person is in your energy the other person is in your energy so someone was being or is being deceitful and sneaky. That's why they took their time moving in. And you could have, you or them, could have been seeking advice with the Harrowfin. You could have been seeking advice um, pertaining to the situation. And... You could currently be venturing off in a new direction with the Eight of Pentacles. This situation could have left you or could leave you or the other person overly cautious holding on tight to your heart guarded in a situation but with the will of fortune you could be moving forward in the future moving on to something new um the person that you're dealing with they could have the initials of t a r or oh, but <clears throat> you could be moving forward. You could be moving on to um, a new cycle in your life, or you could be moving on to a new cycle um, in, in a new relationship, and you have the Ace of Swords, and that represents new beginnings. Overcoming adversity in a situation. So, um, let's get some clarifiers. Let's find out why this person was moving so slow. Spirit, why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here for the sign of Libra? And we have the world. So. Someone could have been. Being worldly. They could have. Been, they could have. Um, been trying to. Or trying to be successful. Somewhere else. It could have been someone else in the picture, and that could have been the reason. Because this um, this knight and a woman that's on the card for the world is facing each other. <coughs> so this person could have been entertaining someone else. They could have been trying to be successful or make something happen with someone else. And that's why they were moving in and or didn't take action with you, Libra. And you looked away because you felt like you needed balance in the situation. 
Um, Spirit, what is this person being deceitful about? Why is that five of swords there? What are they being deceitful about? Yeah, they were working on something else. <clears throat> working hard at it as well. They were trying to be successful somewhere else. And it caused burdens in a relationship, in your relationship with them, Libra. And that's why you want to see, get advice with the Hierophant you want to get advice from. Could have been your friends, um... Oh, uh, yeah, you... Someone in the authority position, your parents, um, but as I said, you are with the eight, the eight of pentacles. You're working hard. You're working hard to, um, To be successful somewhere else. What are you working hard for? What are you working hard for, Libra? Why is this Eight of Pentacles here for the sign of Libra? Spirit, what is Libra working hard for? What is Libra working hard for? Okay, thank you. So you're working hard for stability with the Nine of Pentacles. Moving forward, you're working towards a completion because you went from the Eight of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles. So you were working towards something new with the Eight of Pentacles. And with the Nine of Pentacles, you're headed towards success. <laughs> but you're still going to be cautious with the Four of Pentacles. So, in the future. So, Spirit, why is Libra? What is Libra cautious about? What is Libra being cautious about? Oh, the Ten of Swords. Because you're being cautious because you felt like someone stabbed you in your back in the past. So now you're being cautious with the Ten of Swords. You're, I mean, with the Four of Pentacles. <laughs> and the Ten of Swords coming out is saying that you're being cautious and you're guarded because someone stabbed you in your back. They betrayed you because they were working on um, another relationship. Trying to be successful in another relationship with their world card. And it left you feeling... Um, like... You were stabbed in the back and it left you guarded in a situation. It's because someone was trying to be successful and happy with another person. So, you're going to move forward in a situation. You're, but you're still going to be guarded. 
you're moving forward with that um that will of fortune a change is going to come a new cycle is coming in for you and um you will overcome this situation but you're going to need inner strength And as I said, at the bottom of the deck, you have the two of swords. So, you're going to be successful, but <clears throat> you're still guarded. Or you're going to overcome what you went through, but you're still going to be guarded. So, spirit, what is the outcome? What's the outcome for the sign of Libra? What's the outcome for the sign of Libra? Okay. We have the Five of Wands. So... You're going to come overcome adversity with the Ace of Swords. But if you remain um, closed off, then it's going to cause conflict in your life. Let's get one more card for, for their five of wands. <coughs> okay. I had a card that flipped over. And we have the ace of cups. So once you remove your guard, once you re release, if you release, this past person and you open up and allow something new to come in you'll be out of this inner confliction because this five of wands to me because <clears throat> how I'm looking at the cards are she's holding two swords across her heart and her eyes are covered so she's blinded but she's but the five of wands represent conflict. So if you aren't with this past person anymore, you could be having inner conflict, like mental conflict within yourself. But if you just re um if you just remove the blindfold and release your arms, you'll be open for something new to come in with the ace of cups. A new beginning can start in love. But with the death card at the bottom of the deck, actually, we have the hermit card at the bottom of one deck with the death card. So you have to come. It's still saying the same message, Libra. You have to come out this um this hermit, this this inner term oil. And a transformation has to take place with the death card in order for you to receive this Ace of Cups. This new love. And see the eye that's open? So, if you remove that blindfold, put your arms down, place your arms to the side, so you can open up your heart again to something new or someone new. Your eyes will be open. See the eye at the top? And, and you will have the love, that you, a new love that you're looking for. And you could be happy. So... I'm going to pull, pull one 
love oracle card and then that is going to be it for your reading libra One card for the sign of Libra for the bonus reading. Spirit, I need one card for the sign of Libra. One love oracle card. Okay. Okay, so... We have coffee cup that came out. And it says, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted in friendship. So maybe you need to go, go out with your friends. And when you go out, you're going to meet this person. Uh, maybe someone's going to come in and someone new is going to come in and start up new conversations with you. But during this time, you're going to savor the moment. So you have to become unguarded in order to experience this, um, this have this coffee cup moment. And then underneath that, at the bottom of the Love Oracle deck, after coffee cup, we have kisses. So you have kisses coming in. Unconditionally loving, giving, and receiving affection, falling in love all over again. So... Libras, that was your bonus reading. Um, I hope that you enjoyed the reading. If this reading resonates with your story or a situation that's going on in your life, hit the like button and as well as subscribe. The notificate hit that notification bell so you can be notified of upcoming videos. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.